right, we're back. Red Hill Racing Podcast. This will be episode number two. Um, Ben Knight here with your co-host, Dustin Lee. What's going on, Dustin? Just chilling. Got headphones and a microphone in front of me. That's right. That's right. It is Thursday, January 12th. It's about 8.15 in the evening, and we are working on episode two for you guys. Um, So, yeah. What we have in store for you tonight, as promised in our introduction slash episode one, tell them it's all about it. And about them pampers. We're going to talk about pampers. Pampers, baby. Them diapers. Pampers. <laughs> the hot topic button that's been just tearing everybody's Facebook apart for the last, what, three weeks, four weeks? I don't and it's know. been that first day, like, I had some. So many people messaging me about it. It was, I was so stressed. I'm already stressed out usually during the day because I get a lot of messages. And then that added to it. I was probably mildly on suicide watch. Like it was pretty rough that day. Yeah. yeah. And, and for those that don't know, tell them why you had so many messages. Tell them about hard times. Well, you know, most people will know, but you know, we, yeah, we might I, have I, some listeners that don't. I sell all drag racing parts for a living. That's my job. Hard times parts and service is my business. So right. there was a lot of people that had questions. Um, a lot of people that just bought them. They was calling me and ordering them. Like they just did it, you know, and uh, I understand the questions. There's, I have questions. I had questions. <laughs> you know, I, I was confused. I, I had no, I don't even think they knew what they were doing, you know, and um, it, it's, it is what it is. We, we have to follow whatever guidelines we're given this sport i mean it's realistically i, mean, I don't guess are we getting right into this i mean if well, we are, i mean we we probably better back up a hair let's yeah. what what started the diaper <laughs> the diaper rash how about that what started Man. the diaper rash for those that aren't in the loop we we're pretty sure most of y'all will be but we'll just do a quick recap we had some rule changes right yeah yeah we had some rule changes and uh i get it like realistically i think everybody should have been prepared I mean, if you race at XDA, we had to hear Fabian scream at us multiple times about oil downs in the track, and that person didn't have a diaper. Or, I wanted to give out free diapers for the amount of times Fabian. Yeah, about and then and then oh, there the, there's no cleanup on the track because they had a diaper. It's like man, like, I bought a diaper back then because I was just like when he speaks that stuff, I'm gonna block it out because I knew it didn't have nothing to do with me. And I'm not saying that even if you had a diaper. They would buy, probably maybe could be full on the track, but uh, it does help. And uh, if you want to maybe talk about other stuff before we get straight into it, I got a lot to say. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I could, I, I I I could run away with it. it. That's that's the topic of that. Uh, I'll say this though, well, before we get completely in this, um. Look, we haven't even launched this thing, but we're loving it. We're loving it. We're both enjoying it so far. And what we have got is feedback from from you guys, <laughs> which is funny to say because you've yet to hear us actually podcasting or talking. But, you know, from Facebook on our personal and also on, uh, you know, Red Hill Racing podcast, the, the Facebook channel, uh, we've gotten feedback. We already uh, talked about how we recorded the first episode intro. Well, you know, we claim as intro and we even had feedback. It wasn't long enough because it was like 22 minutes. So tonight we're going to try and give you guys what you want. And uh, we're going to go for about an hour. We think. I don't know. It's going to be longer than that. Probably. Than that. We'll <laughs> see. But hey, that's what that's some of the feedback we already got. And that's what we want. So just and make I'm sure you like and follow Red Hill Racing Podcasts on Instagram. Uh, yeah, I set up an Instagram too. Um, and on Facebook. And the website's up and still got a couple tweaks, but it'll be done. You can subscribe to a newsletter there. And I think the last thing I'm going to blab about is we will have some of our favorite companies uh, and, and sponsors on here. You know, we're pretty sure we can talk a few of these companies in to join in the podcast and fun. But right now it's brought to you by Dustin and Hard Times Parts and Service and me and Night Marketing Group. So. I want to add one thing to that. Just, yep. just before we get into this stuff deep. Oh man. So y'all know right now, you know, this is like a nonprofit, you know, like we're just doing it because we care about 
everything. And it's actually kind of fun so far. It's fun. I'm having a blast. Um, I had a few guys be like, well, I like three-hour podcast. And I'm like, bro, like, I got a lot of stuff to do. I don't know if I can sit in the office <laughs> for three hours. But but we might one day. I don't know. Like, you know, yeah. we could get caught up. Me and you talk on the phone all the time. So it happens. You know, this is kind of the same thing. We're just going to start uh, recording our phone conversations. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we may or we may not have a Patreon at some point. And if you just want to say, Hey, you know, I'll give them guys 20 bucks. That was a good show. We may do that just because I have personally listened to podcasts before. And just when I got done listening to, or a YouTube video style podcast and just like it so much, that I feel like I need to go buy a shirt from that company. Or whatever. Yep. So they may not, they're not obligated, but we may eventually add that just because, you know, there's some money been spent to do this. And, uh, we're busy. Like we're taking up our time to do it, which we like it, but at some time you got to figure out the time. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a good, it's a good plug. I like it. And, and Dustin's on track there. We're going to, our plan is, and I'll be honest, I don't remember if we talked about it in the intro. Um, maybe I should keep better notes, but our plan along with some, some Patreon stuff is, uh, is that right? Patreon, Patreon. But, uh, Patreon. what we want to do is have, uh, have just a simple subscription, probably about a dollar. Um, and anybody who does subscribe, um, we might have some some uh, episodes that are for subscribers only, but the majority are just going to be open, you know, free to everybody. But for subscribers, our plan right now is we're going to do a giveaway. So, pro, I don't know, maybe at least once a month. I'll I'll put it like that. At least once a month, and our goal is to have you know uh, giveaways, product certificates, T-shirts, stuff like that. So, you know, we're just we're just trying to get a, a dollar to cover the overhead and then we're going to give away stuff. So in, in theory, this is more like a help me help you. We're going to do this together. All yeah. of us, the listeners, me and you, anybody that comes on the show, we're going to do it together. 100%. And look, I'll say right now, if, if you and I somehow end up famous from this and we get rich, then look, I'm, I'm willing to give back, you know, we'll, we'll do some huge giveaways. We'll pay race entry fees. Like I'm, I'm calling it right now. That's if look, we get big time. If I can buy off a dollar menu, I'm rich. I'm ready to go. <laughs> My we man. got this <laughs> my man all right well i think we've covered we'll call that the housekeeping housekeeping uh work that's the yeah. housekeeping stuff so let's let's get right into it again we're talking about uh diapers tonight and let's let's just go with the the series and the rule changes and just lay it out so what was it dustin next da who implemented so, a diaper rule first um well was, i mean like kind of crazy so man cup kind of did like they kind of yeah. put like a thing out there like a little artwork style image with the changes and it had it on there and everybody lost their mind you know and then dustin I said actually, lost their mind my man, i told y'all in episode one it's not safe for work I, I would say lost their shit yeah yeah well i was trying to be uh pg i know not, i'm not man i'm saying i'm i'm gonna mess this up <laughs> i will cuss but right now i'm, I'm very conscious about what i'm doing <sighs> yeah, so i'm, I'm doing sorry well. I'm, I'm already breaking it up continue yeah. continue so anyway um so Man Cup put that little teaser out and people lost their mind. And uh I I'll be honest with everybody, I I knew a little bit about that he was wanting to, you know, put diapers in play. Um at that time he didn't list like who had to have diapers. So I was cool with it because I, I had talked to him and kind of helped uh organize the rules. And I was a hundred percent for uh fast classes, like i.e. top gas, top sportsman, everything faster, uh should be required because you have high horsepower, uh, super fast stuff. And the reason uh, we was talking earlier before we done our like, little plug deal, um, our good friend, mine and yours, we call him Squirrel, um, Jimmy <laughs> Miller. Squirrel. Yeah, we raced at Maryland, and I was racing Jimmy. And we got about, I don't know if it was like 300 foot out, and I, I was running him down like sparring, top sportsman. And I seen a cloud of smoke come off his bike. And of course, I you know went down through there and rolled out of it, and kept looking back, and I seen him turn off the track, and uh, he blowed an oil filter seal, and like what he was tore up, like he almost put her on the dirt, you know, or the asphalt or concrete or whatever the surface. The dirt, I was gonna say. Yeah, Marilyn, come on, yeah. bro. He almost busted his chin. <laughs> Let's just you know. There and, you go. And immediately the next week, you know, after that, Jimmy ordered a diaper for me and uh, put it on his pocket and. Uh, he blowed another one after the diaper and guess what? Nothing, nothing happened. He didn't almost crash. Nothing bad happened. Now, I already had bought one prior to that, but, uh, you know, it definitely made a difference, you know, for him, 
and he's not even got really that. He's got nitrous on the back. It's not that much. I want to say it's like a sixty or eighty shot or something. It might be eighty. Spencer yeah, but, helps him. So but, oh Spencer could have inflated that shit. You yeah. know what I mean? So damn it, I cussed. Oh man, I got you good. I got you. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I mean, like that's a good example of it actually helping in, in like r- like literal real world back to back. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately yeah. for Jimmy. I mean, I seen that. You know, like it was one of my good friends. I seen the results without and with. And he was, you know, like, I almost crashed it. And I believe him because a street tire motorcycle, I feel like is kind of worse than a bar bike just for the fact that the tire's rounded. And you can get over right. it. Yeah, yeah. Really easy. Um, but, I mean, any bike with oil on the tire on a racetrack is going to be a bad day. Or, 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 you know, if people run water wetter or water, or, you know, it could be some outlaws that run antifreeze or whatever. It's not good, you know, if something happens. Um, and then uh, I actually messaged Jason Miller. Texting like person to person, like, what are you doing with the diaper rules? Because I don't knew after Fabian's screaming at us, you know, most of the year about diapers that something was going to go down. I didn't get an answer. You had that feeling in your gut. Yeah. And we found, I found out just like everybody else about XDA's rule. And XDA, you know, in my opinion, done it about the only logical way you could do it. It was as so explain, as, the, explain the rule and did, uh, sorry, I'm not trying to cut you off, but did, um, is this before you kept up with it better than I did? So did Man Cup come out with full rule, rules or did XDA, XDA come out with it first? listed their full rules. Okay, well then continue on. I was first. just checking. So yeah, I'm trying to go like as it, Yeah, my yeah. bad. I, I didn't follow it as closely yeah. as you did. Well, I did because of my inbox. You, know, um, <laughs> you didn't have anyway. a choice. <laughs> yeah, I did not. And um, I swear I'm not slurring because I just opened up the Knob Creek, so I hadn't even had a sip yet. But yeah, any, I'm drinking water. Any, any future slurs <laughs> could be because of that. All right, carry on. XDA rules. Jason put them out. Yeah, Jason put them out, and um, realistically, his was the only way I could see it really done logically. And his rule is, is if you have a power adder on your motorcycle in like sportsman classes, like Pro Charger, Supercharger, Nitrous, Turbo, any kind of power adder, you know, um, you got to have a diaper. And uh, if you uh, have a street style exhaust, and uh, in my opinion, there's really no logical way currently available to put a diaper on those type of box, and you got nitrous, your most affordable option is to take the nitrous off of it. Just pull the bottle off. Or you can go and buy a flat pan and a sidewinder and spend all this money um, to keep your nitrous. Now. Right. And, and my honest opinion, man, I, I got to have my nitrous, you know, <laughs> like I'm adding a third kit to my top sportsman bike just because ridiculous. I like to have nitrous. And no, it's because you like to party is what that sounds like. Well, I don't know much about that. <laughs> you know, Spencer likes to party, you know, I we, like uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just, um, changing my setup, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. We're going to have that conversation. So, so the so XDA came out and the rule was what basic everybody right it's all classes if you well have some adder, some classes are mandatory regardless some right, of the grudge but, stuff is you know regardless yeah okay yeah real street it, regardless but like you know, grudge wasn't last year it is this time though it is now okay so but so I'm just saying like to clarify for everybody at XDA any bike that has a power adder has to have a diaper correct yeah I mean, grudge I can, sportsman. I mean, I can go all gangster right now, and we can just pull them up, and we can talk about it. You know what I mean? Like, no, I I was just checking. I mean, I I thought it. That's what I'd seen too. But I, you know, I'm pretty sure that all the uh, quote unquote pro classes, it's mandatory. Like, because there is like for that instance in in uh, real street, you know, there is all motor combos. But I'm 99 percent sure. Yeah, no, it's mandatory for sure in in real street and pro street. So that that wouldn't have changed. I'm pulling it up as well. Uh, Yep. And then you know in the the grudge class real street. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Well, you you know off and on again type deal. You know you've been there, done that. Then you come back and back and forth type deal. Um, but you know all the I'm pretty sure all the the bulls. You know, well I know they're probably not happy about that, right? The grudge, but man, I'm glad to see that. So I just now pulled up just grudge in general at XDA and engine containment systems, engine containment diaper with pig mat is required on bikes equipped with yeah. nitric turbo or supercharger. Yep. So, so he give them the benefit of the doubt. Like there could be, you know, somebody out there with a, 
realistically a pro AT bike in Grudge that don't have nitrous and they can yeah. not have a diaper, you know. Right. But so so the point is XDA, if you got nitrous, turbo, or supercharger, you gotta have a blanket. Doesn't matter what class. Yeah. All right. That's that's what I got from it. So we probably should have prefaced this too at the beginning of this show, but it goes for every show. You know, these are our opinions. So like them, hate them, love them, disagree. You know, we're just we're just talking. We're talking yeah, I'm your, about to... your entertainment. So what is your opinion on the XDA rules, Dustin? I think the XDA rules are managed sufficiently. I think that it doesn't force people to change their whole bike setup. Um, they can either pull the nitrous off if they have it, or if they have a turbo bike, they sh it should be easy to put a diaper on it. So the only box that concerned me was the street box with under the engine style exhaust. I call it a street exhaust. Right, uh, right. That, that may have a little, you know, squirt of nitrous on it. I mean, everybody's done it. And um, I was, I hate it that they had to take their nitrous off, but it's the most economical way for them to do it versus buying a flat pan, a sidewinder just to keep the nitrous. Um, well, well, for look, XDA. I, agree. I agree with that. I mean, I mean, think about it. Like, okay, um, like you said, you don't have to change your whole setup. If, if you got a bot on it, yeah, you had it on there for something, we think. Unless you just like the look of it, but I mean, they're going to be like, "Hey, that's my air shifter. That's for my air shifter. That's what they're going to be saying." I can unhear it now. Well, now look, I'll be honest, and you you can vouch for this. I've always run my air shifter off my nitrous bottle, so that would be true yep. per se in my case. But I, I mean, I'll just have to figure it out. So, well, not... we know that we know that tech is um, pretty good at XDA, but I don't see them taking the time to crack lines on bottles to see if it's got air. Well, I mean, it doesn't even matter. The point the point is this. You don't have to change your whole bike. If you're going to XDA, you just have to take the bottle off. I mean, right. you can go to your local track the next week with the bottle on. You can go to a grudge event with the bottle on. Like the, you know, it's one series and it's it's a you know, and that that's if you don't want to spend the what well, you would know. What's what's the typical diaper? Three hundred bucks? Yeah, the DME, uh, like the Taylor, the Taylor Motorsports diaper, uh -huh. um, the Pro Street style is three thirty five. Um, okay. Vanson's Vanson's coming out with one that's supposed to be very similar. Uh -huh. He told me it was going to be cheaper. I already ordered several of them, but I don't know the exact price. Yeah, the end cost. Well, look, I'll throw this in too, and you know, I I got the the Taylor made from from DME. Probably, I'm sure I got it from probably you, but um, yeah, I got one of those on my blower bike and. Uh, you know, Dustin and I both use Vanson suits, so we love Vanson. We love Matt. It's a great company, and this isn't to sell them either. Of those short, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, dude, look, I cheap alternative. Look, I mean, I looked on Jags. You, you get a car. I diaper. did too. You can get a car diaper, and based on the dimensions, I'm pretty sure you can make it fit. It ain't gonna be great. I've already You'll looked a, a little bit slack, right? But am I wrong? You can make, make a car diaper fit. They make 125 bucks. Yes, and they make transmission diapers too. I've looked and I, I sent somebody a screenshot yep. of that and they're like 120 bucks. And okay, if it don't fit correctly, just cut a slit in it, make it work. I and guarantee it, and it's you, not going to fit correctly, but I mean the dimensions were not so ridiculous that you couldn't, you know, pull it up around hell, probably around the frame, you know. It, wrap that sucker fit. down on there. <laughs> yeah, get it on there. You know, that's um so there's also help. alternatives that aren't being discussed, really, is what we're saying. Yeah, you don't have to go out and buy a three hundred and thirty dollar diaper or a two hundred dollar diaper. You can make your own. I mean, I've done red post. I'm not going to mention names, but huh. I've read post of people saying, "Oh, I went and done this. I've got some made. I'm going to. If you need one, I can make it for you for this much." And that's cool. Like, all I think they're really looking for is an effort to try to help them. Two things. So it's a safety thing. Keep you off yeah. your face. And another thing is to speed up the racing. Who, yep. no, nobody likes to sit in the damn staging lanes when you're waiting for them to clean up oil down. It might take an hour, hour and yep. a half. Some tracks, three hours. I mean, it just depends on where you're at. You know? yep. I mean, you both know that we've raced everywhere, right? And I feel like you'll agree with me. There is nobody that cleans up oil down quicker than Maryland, period. No, I don't. I mean, no. It, that, that's I like a Tyler's it's like a quick. swarm of yeah, but I mean Maryland, like there's just so many bodies there. Like they swarm the racetrack. Yeah, no, I know you're right, 100. Yeah, percent I mean, yeah. you something goes down there, it, it's 
It's oh, yeah. done. It's cleaned. The only up, time I mean. it takes a long time is if it's an accident, you know, there has to be some emergency stuff happen or whatever. But normally a hold down, if it takes them an hour, it was a bad one, you know. Yeah. Yeah, point. for sure. No, I mean, overall, I'm I'm in agreement with it too. I mean, like I I'll, personally, I, I've was been confused because in the past, or I don't know, I guess it's probably been two years, right? But whatever, in the past at XTA it was pro street and real street where diapers were were required and um yeah. i could never figure out why grudge wasn't and that's just me my personal opinion but i mean does it you get, know does it get any more on edge than a grudge bike and that's exactly what i was thinking like i mean I will, well hold up so there's difference there, there's a difference in there's some guys that no nah, we're talking about the grudge bikes we're yes. talking about the fast shit right Excuse okay me, but and, we're talking about we're not talking about the tests and tuners and sorry if we're hurting your feelings but look and and that's cool like if if you just want to go make laps that's great and get you comfortable know? on the bike yeah. have at it. and right. we're all for that get comfortable yep. riding racing whatever but like we're talking about the all-out grudge bikes and yeah, honestly I mean, if, like if if you don't if you're just trying to get some tests and tune laps you don't have to have a diaper either you just don't spray nitrous or whatever take your bottle off Go make sure. your laps. Yeah. But the so actual I, I do real agree. grudge, like that's just I'm so glad to see that. I I thought that was getting left out, you know, kind of based off some stuff we had heard and talked about. And I, that just it just didn't make sense to me. I mean Well, as a sportsman racer, I I know from just people talking to me that they were fired up for the past few years that the fact that some of these super top quality, top notch, fastest grudge bikes wasn't required to have a diaper. Because I do, I'm fired up. I don't, yeah, catastrophic failure can happen to any engine. Let's just be real. But 100%, it can happen the ones to the that's stock ramming bikes. more more nitrous <laughs> through them than they have on motor horsepower is most likely going to blow up. And, and I mean, you know, one of our best friends has got a high performance grudge bike, and there's times it pukes all out, you know, it does it all the time. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, is this um, friend, I don't even remember, does he, he doesn't run a diaper, does he? Um, yeah, he does sometimes. Um, <laughs> if he has enough he, time to put it on after an engine. Well, pump. that's like a musical diaper thing. Like he yeah. was borrowing it, robbing it from one. But he did just now order four diapers from right. me. And let me tell you all something. You take 335 and you multiply it by four, that hurts a man. Like that's, I mean, it hurt me just telling him how much it was. You know what I'm saying? So, and there's people complaining about buying one. and He had to go buy four because all his bikes are qualified to have, them, you know. Right, and, right. Uh, so I mean, it could be worse. I mean, we're yeah. and we're not trying to, you know, everybody's situation. And I got to buy three, so you know? well, I had to buy three. But I'm just saying too, you know, we're not, we're not, we're not dogging on the little man or whatever. Like no, you know, everybody's no, situation no. is different. We know three hundred dollars is a lot to some oh, people. I mean, man. it's you know, that's half your trip in fuel. I mean, yeah. if you drive a seven or eight hour trip, you know, that's half your trip in fuel. Because I mean, normally I spend you know three or four hundred bucks each way in fuel. So you know, yeah, that's a big deal now thankfully it's a one-time deal and i i made a post on facebook about this and the reason the reason i personally bought the first diaper i bought was because um i was just thinking one night in the garage and i'm like man you know diapers are high but i need to get one because it's almost like insurance i don't oh, i go yeah. everybody knows i travel alone a lot like very seldomly does my wife and kid get to come with me and i thought man you know, for 300 something bucks, I could possibly make it where I could kick a rod out of my bike and go home to see my wife and kid. Or I could get hurt real bad or worse yep. over 300 bucks. And I'm like, man, let me just buy that. So I bought the one for my top sportsman bike. And then I ordered my next one for my 560 bike in like, I don't know, end of September, October, or whatever, um, because I had to just save up to get it. Like, I mean, yeah. I had to, you know, make sure I had the funds to do it and I did it and I didn't get it until recently, but it's all good. I have it now. And then I have to buy another one, but uh, well, I mean, that's, you know, that's a good thing to say. That's a great example. I mean, you were just thinking, and I mean, that makes sense. You know, I got, got a little man now too. And I mean, you want to, you want to be safe. I mean, you know, that they, that's, they why need we run, that's why you, we use fans and suits. We're, you know, we're comfortable in them and I, hell I've went down at 165 in one. Um, yeah. I mean, they, we just want to be safe. I mean, yep. we, we accept the risk that we take, but we try to mitigate, you know, the risk. So yeah, we get so comfortable on these motorcycles. And I mean, <sighs> You're I think me. the fastest I've ever been is like 184 and on the bike, when you're, you're actually racing, you don't really think about 
how fast you're going. You're just doing what you got to do during the run. It's fast. Um, yeah, I know. We we forget that, you know, we forget that we're going that fast, you know. And, I mean, bro, if I ever hit the ground at that fast, big as I am, it's going to wad me up. There's going to be gravy everywhere. I'm bringing the biscuits. <laughs> Bring in biscuits, you know. There's going to be stuff everywhere. And uh, I don't like, <clears throat> you know, that the XDA – Really, in my opinion, they they done the best job of making the rules what they are without forcing people to change their whole motorcycle. Like yeah. that was the biggest thing I could agree with. Now, I agree. And and look, if if you didn't attend any XDA last year, I mean, we hate it. We hate you didn't go get to go out. The events were awesome and great. But for those of you that did, you heard it, and and they alluded to it. I mean, they flat out told us. That I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe you know I was drinking at night, which that's not. And I you know, felt like my mama but, was lecturing me every time they. Got but right, that that's what I'm, I was pretty sure Man. that's what. But you know, we were told that they might be, you know, a mandatory thing in the future, and that we might as well just look at them, right? I mean, we were we were spoon fed that this was probably going to happen. So he told us that you know it, there's going to be a change. Well, yeah. like he, and I mean, I was waiting for him to throw. You know, my mama used to throw frying pans at me. <laughs> I just thought somebody was going to throw something at me. Pop, Papa know? Jason coming out the tower with a frying pan. Yeah. I mean, you know, it was a few times Jason would get on there and, you know, he was, you know, complaining at us. I'm like, man. I think, think we can like get I'm Jason gonna... on here. Oh, man. We wouldn't get a word in. He'd blow us away. Maybe. <laughs> you think he would come on here, though? I don't know, man. Maybe. We could. I mean, you know, there's a lot of possibilities in this. Like, I mean, can we get Jason Miller to sit, sit down for an hour? I don't know. Maybe he don't sit still much. I mean, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. Always, yeah, that might not be. He might not be able to sit there, sit blah, sit still. Damn, I've only poured one have to, knob creek, have, and I'm slurred. I have to call him black. Get you a glass of milk. Go sit down, <laughs> your <laughs> sit down, pewter. <laughs> your pewter. He'll be, he'll be running laps around his farm, talking yep, to us on so, the phone. So now the big talk topic for me, and the one that I'm just pulled apart on, switching is, gears, right? He had a man cup. Yep. All right, so we covered some XDA rule changes. Dustin's going to walk us through the man cup rule changes. Man, man cup hurts me. Uh, you know, man cup was recently purchased purchased by Broadwick Jackson. Damn, I thought you were hey. drinking two parsers. Yeah, everybody. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just like I got so much build up emotion about it. <laughs> Invest. So, and uh, everybody calls him Hollywood, and he has a outstanding vision for what he wants man cup to be. Uh, we've talked about it. And I mean, realistically, I'll just tell you, you know, dude wants t the racing to be on televised. He wants it to be on TV. He wants, um, you know, all the classes to get down to like 16 bucks and then air it on Sunday, you know, record it or whatever. And I mean, that's a great thing. Cause you know, anybody would like to see, you know, my family could tune in and watch me race, you know what I mean? Or whatever. Um, but a hundred percent side <clears throat> note, like the, the, Excuse me, the live feeds he's done, even the drag bike ones. Um, yeah, they're all great. I, and you know what? I and, well, I know you know because I've told you, but that's my favorite part about car races. Almost all the big money car races I go to, you can go back on and Motor watch Mania, stuff. man. And that's it's yeah. awesome. Y'all are always watching them when I'm getting my ass kicked down there. Yeah, I watch them, with, especially if I know you're at a car race. Yeah, you know, it's uh, fun. Just it's, the it's, other day, fun. I watched, um, I don't remember what video it was. I don't know who videoed it. I watched just a video that I found of me. And I dude, my heart started thumping. I'm like, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go race. You know what I mean? Like just yeah. watching it got me excited. You know, and Hollywood does a, he's he's got very, very high expectations out of what he wants to do. Yeah. Now the biggest issue for him, and and we've talked about it, you know, is man, he's doing things on a different level. You know, he's he's got he's not using the racetracks that he goes to's insurance. He's he's getting his own. And these okay. insurance companies, right. for one, ain't cheap. And for two, they're very strict. So that's what influenced Man Cup's diaper rule, that every motorcycle that goes down the racetrack is required to have a diaper. And, mm. well, man. I mean, look, hey, I'll stop right there. That's info I just learned. I did not know that Hollywood was, you know, getting his own insurance. Because like you said, I... I I think a lot of, you know, 
um, smaller series and stuff, they'll they'll kind of tag along. I'm not 100% sure. I should know because, you know, used to work at Bristol, but uh, it's been so long. You know, You're going to be familiar with this right here. He told me that he told one of the racetracks that he was going to that he's got his own insurance, and the track said, oh, thank God. Like that was such a big relief for them for some reason. I mean, it's just crazy. You worked at Bristol, right? So you probably know that part of the deal. But they were thankful that he is taking the time to have his own insurance. And he's insuring, you know, he's insuring man cup. Right, so, right. And it's also smart business because he's a smart dude. Like he's doing it to, you know, if something goes wrong, somebody gets hurt, they can't come after him. You know what I mean? He's got insurance to protect yeah. himself. Which is theoretically a very smart move as a business. I mean, you got to do that any for anything nowadays. It seems yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, I just now upped my homeowner's insurance to the max because, you know, we all know that <clears throat> Dan had that fire, and then a YouTube channel that I watched his whole business burnt down, and I'm just like, bruh, yeah, like, I just freaked stuff. out. Yeah, I mean, I just freaked. But I mean, he had to do what he had to do because of his insurance company's requirement, and it's I'm talking just like the same company that does NHRA from what I understand. Like it's a big deal and it might be their entrance. I don't know, but right. they are very particular on safety and rules. And that's where this has come from. Now it really tears me up to think that the guy that comes in off the road is like, what's going on here and sees all them bikes and pays the entry fee and rolls in on a Friday and he can't buy a tech car to race because he's got a 2005 Busa that's got a six inch bolt on a stretch and a street pipe on it. You know, he can't go over there and just buy a diaper to race, which would be insane for just, you know, while he's there to have fun. But, you know, on a, on in another view, I don't think that's where Hollywood's looking to make Man Cup. I don't think he's trying to make Man Cup that. I mean, I know what you're saying there. I, I mean, personally, I don't, and I could be wrong, but, you know, I maybe some of the big XDAs where then bike clubs come, but I just don't feel like most of the events we they go don't do to, that. That people yeah, come don't. off the street to race now. Now I will say this kind of piggybacked off what you said. You know, I, I worry about somebody who's been racing that. Well, hell, I got a perfect example. My brother, he's not on any social media. It would not be. I worry about somebody that just doesn't know showing up to race and then, yeah. you know, not being able to, especially if they had to travel. Yeah. And, and and that's a perfect example is my brother, which of course I would tell him. But you know if. It, if I, if I didn't tell him and, you know, he's on social media, why would he have, that's where we're, everybody's seeing this. And that's why we're talking about it yeah. is because of social media, but you know, he, he probably wouldn't think to go back and look through rule book. If, you know, he's in North Carolina, if he wanted to roll over to Rockingham, they're racing at Rockingham, right? Yep. Yeah. So if he wanted to roll over to Rockingham, hit it and then shows up and can't race. I mean, that's, that's a bummer for sure. I mean. Yeah. I mean, and then you think about the guys that's got like a dialed in setup, but they've raced the same way for, 20 years, you know, with the street pipe on it and it's not even got nitrous on or nothing. I mean, there's, a, Hey, what's that one guy's name? His name's Jimmy. Ain't, ain't his, uh, old lady used to race some. Is it Iman? You know what I'm talking about? I don't, I, I don't know. His old lady used to race. Man. Yeah. It's like an old green ZX six. They both had them identical old school racers. Like oh oh racers. yeah. Yeah. Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is it Iman, her name yeah, or something? We're saying we're butchering name. We're sorry. We yeah. apologize in advance. Yeah, yeah I know exactly but, what you're talking but about. He's a, but he's a good example, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. He's got like little ZX6s with street pipes, no nitrous, just yep. a, you know, a bracket racer running street ET and maybe dabble in the pro ET a little bit. And then now this dude can't race because he's got a street pipe. Because nobody, like they're putting a rule out there. <clears throat> My honest opinion is it's going to be damn near impossible to make a diaper work to fit between oil pan and the exhaust and another thing is what if it catches on fire because that shit gets hot so this guy either has to change his whole combo put a flat pan you know a sidewinder whatever spend some serious money to go race and then counting buying a diaper and then to go race that he's been racing this way for years so that is the biggest issue for me about the man cup deal <clears throat> and i mean I'm all for safety, but some of these people just can't do it and they got to change their whole combo to do so. Yeah. So let, let me ask you this, you know, I, I think you mentioned that, you know, you kind of consulted with Hollywood on some stuff, some rule stuff and all, but maybe not so much on this. I mean, have you talked to him on it? Is that, is that the deal? It's just his insurance. That's, that's it. Yep. 
Yeah, he said no diapers or no cup. Okay. Well, they're – I mean, hey, look, people want to know that, need to know that, I feel like. So – I seen a post today. That's and the a guy tough that, decision. Yeah, the dude that made the post in the man cup group was – I mean, he had a logical deal going on. Like, he, he his explanation of the issue, I agree with. But we also can't look at an insurance company and say, hey – you know, they don't understand what we're doing. They don't understand the concept between the difference in exhaust and how they run under the bike or whatever. They just want every motorcycle to be safe. And they just, you know, they're just stuck. They're, I mean, that's their rules. We have to follow them. So then Hollywood has to follow them. And then, of course, every racer that comes to his series has to follow them. I mean, personally, it don't affect me. I was already there. You know, I was already doing it before it even happened. Yeah. Um, and as you, you know, you're pretty good on safety. I mean, realistically, you don't have one on the little ZX-14 you ride because realistically, me and you know both that it didn't really need it, you know? Yeah. Even yeah. though it's kicked a rod once. <laughs> <laughs> Not the blue one. Don't don't you jinx oh, the blue. Oh, it was the gold one. That's Goldilocks, funny. man. That yeah. thing's thrown like three rods. Poor Steven. I think he's been on yeah. it every time, too. And and <laughs> that's also uh, impressive because, you know, Steven can ride a motorcycle. You know, he kind of learned how to race and ride a little bit at the same time, you know? And uh, like the racing riding. And he didn't have, I mean, he didn't crash or nothing. You know, he just had them, you know, he just come back with a fucking rod <laughs> hanging out of that bitch, you know. <laughs> man, uh, poor Steven. That's what we'll say. Poor yeah. Steven, man. I've, I'll never forget any of them instances. Uh, I remember picking it. Him I up remember. The end. Yep. And uh, he actually called me the other day and I, I think he was mad. The last time I think he was mad, wasn't he? Like the first time he was scared. The second yeah. time he was like perplexed and a little worried. I think the third time he was just, I, I got to watch what I say. He was, he was mad though. He was mad because I think he knew it was going to happen because it slowed down like the past before. And for the longest time after that, he was always concerned like, about <laughs> slowed down. He was like, that poor guy is paranoid as <laughs> shit. He's so smart. I, I swear, I swear we trouble. didn't intentionally put him on junk. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't even junk. It was just, that's a whole nother story. That, that, yeah. Each time that thing kicked a rod, there was an actual, um, what I guess you would call it, discoverable issue that just. Oh, yeah. We felt the problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. Yeah. Gosh. Poor and God. it was it was a, a problem that you wouldn't have thought would be a problem, but it was a problem. You know, let's just, we'll just talk about that another day because it's just, ugh. Yeah. But, um, you know, man. I mean, it look, sucks. They're, they're they're safer. I mean, like that. Just point blank, a diaper is. And look, I'm not a diaper's not going to fix everything, and it's not going to keep all the oil off the track. But it's it's not a bad thing to have in place and encourage. I mean, I, I got it's, one more it's negative hard, about it's it. It's hard to implement things, and sometimes you know, and it, and sometimes it's hard to do it in stages. You I know, got like. One. At least, like, right, we're talking about XDA, where, like, Pro Street and Real Street, they had to have them for at oh, least yeah. the last year. Maybe it might have been two years now. So, like, and then we were told, like, hey, you know, we're having more oil downs. Like, this this could be a thing. Like, now I, I understand, you know, man cups in the middle of an exchange of hands and, like, Hollywood's taking over and, and planning a lot of big things. And also, like, that's it's not going to be as fluid, but, man, we can't, I, we can't run with from change. You. No, but I'm kind of with you. You know why? Why not start with the the whatever the fast pro class is, and then the, look, man. I, I don't know. I feel like this is opinion. This is opinion. This yeah, is gold. And we opinion. don't. And look, I want to say something else. Sorry, I know I'm I'm talking over you. I apologize. Um, I know this, and I'll say this on behalf of Dustin as well. Anything we say on these shows, and everything we say, we don't. If it comes across negative, we apologize because look. Ultimately, we want to see our beloved sport grow. Absolutely. So, like growth. So we're not we're not dogging on Man Cup or Hollywood. Um, no, you know, I, I don't no. I don't really know Hollywood. I've met him a couple times. Always been super nice. I've talked um, to him personally, and he he knows where I stand, and yeah. I agree with him where he has to go to do what he's got to do. 100%. For sure. I just wanted to throw but, that but out I, that we're not. Yeah, you know, we're not but, talking. But about I am that. I am bummed. For the people that has to make big changes, like oh, I, for sure, I'm you know, I had too. a dude go on Facebook, and here's the deal. So when Hollywood, he he asked me, and actually he asked me, and I think it was five or six other people to have like a committee, right? And we're going to redo. He's going to tell us a list of classes, and we're going to go through all the rules, all of us, talk about the rules, make the rules what they need to be, 
and then sent them back to him, and that's what it is. And it ended up being just me and one other person, and oh. that was it. Nobody chimed in. And it was frustrating because some of the ones that didn't t- chime in are people that I know is going to complain about things that change. Sure, man. And I was wanting them to be involved. So as soon as the rules come out, <clears throat> oh, Dustin, you know, Dustin pushed these diapers because he sells flat pans and sidewinders. No. <laughs> oh, man. No, I miss that. I swear, dude. I miss that dude, popcorn moment. This dude was trashing me saying that it was all my fault. I don't, if, if you, I don't care if you put a cookie sheet on that damn thing and run it. I don't care. Like, I'm not trying. That is nothing, has nothing to do with what I'm trying to do. Like, I, I when I wrote the rules, Man, you'd have to make the diaper to make money, though. I, I mean, know, we ain't right? going to get into it, but, like, yeah. I, I'm going to say it for Dustin. Like, if Dustin makes 25 bucks, like, okay, so. I'll make 25 bucks, man. Like, I'm telling you. like, I don't, But I, I'm, yeah. I'm just saying, if you yeah. did, then, so. Yeah. You, it's Yeah, I mean. It's just, not worth it. Like, I talked to so many people about diapers. I'm like, man, I wish I didn't sell them things. Because it's not worth it. It's not my yeah. time. I involve so much time into it that it wasn't worth it, but. Man, I I miss that. I'm mad I missed somebody saying you did it for... This guy used to be a friend of mine on Facebook, and then when I seen the post, he tagged me in it. Then I realized he wasn't even my friend no more on Facebook. Oh, man. Yeah, and I'm like, all right, cool. You know, it's no big deal to me. Like, I just corrected him and said, I didn't write these rules. Because the rules that I wrote in all the sportsman classes, I'm talking Street ET, Top Gas, and uh, Man Cup has the new Top Sportsman. The only classes that I said diapers should be required is Top Gas and Top Sportsman. The rest of them, I said nothing about it because I feel like a super comp bike most likely ain't going to blow up. You know, it could, but the odds. Yeah, I, I mean, well, look, we've said it. Anything can blow up a stock bike. Yeah. I mean, hell, a, a super stock bike could blow up. And, I, and let's be but, real. Most super comp bikes run like 145 to 155 mile an hour average. So, okay, there's a big difference in that guy. And then the guy on a top gas or top sportsman bike that could be 170 plus average. So I felt like, and then some of the bar bikes probably just run 160, but you know, they usually have diapers most of the time. Them old dinosaurs they about to let yeah. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, but, I've I've had one since since I was running my blower bike in Real Street, right? Or whenever it got mandated. And, and my here's my gripe with the diaper thing. This is my only personal. I hope yours is the same as the one I got. I got one complaint about it. Well, this was, so I've been running one on my fast bike for, I don't know, two, three, however long I've had to. Um, And I wasn't mad when it was implemented about having something. What I was mad about is that it had to be a diaper per se. And I'm not knocking, I'm not going to knock DME or Demi, you know, they're, they're a good group too. And I know you're tight with them and all, but at the time, the only hold on let me rephrase that at the time the options were the tailor made and the dme carbon fiber one um which no and the carbon no, no problem. One don't fit anything but just one object right but but no problem with any of those but the thing that got me is that like i couldn't have um what i wanted was a belly pan an aluminum belly pan made out uh, made oil containment yeah an yep. oil containment belly pan that would been all aluminum and have pig mat in it and that would i could bolt to something because here's here's what I've noticed with diapers since I've been running them is that they always get loose. And I mean, like whatever, like, but, you know, I look under my bike after the weekend and I mean, it just progressively gets, you know, I don't know, I guess the air and the speed and everything, but it gets looser and looser. So like you can put your hand up under my oil pan and, you know, push up on it. So like, I got to tighten it up. It's just, I don't know. It's like my, it's like my britches, man. They stretch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're stretching <laughs> it out. So that that's, that's literally, I think, as far as I know, and I mean, if so, that's if not I, the same as my complaint. The one well, complaint, that's been my complaint is that like, what what's wrong with a good oil containment system? Why does it have to be a quote unquote diaper? Because you know, and for those that don't, like I would have had Eric get you know DAS performance, you know, make me a nice little thing that got four bolts up there, and and look personally too, I think that's better. You know, I mean, is the rod going to come through the block and then through a piece of aluminum? I don't know, maybe, but I feel like I don't know. Anyways. The Taylor made our Kevlar, so they should hold some shit. They you know should. I mean, I mean yeah. they should. I mean, the other thing that blows my mind is this shit. Now you're getting me amped up. Is um, you know, like the the smaller, it just says blanket, right? So you can have one that 
and some of them do like the only, old school ones just cover the oil pan. Two inches? Yeah, but and and I know I think I, we discussed this before, like I, or, you know, just you and me talking, and you you told me you have. I've never seen somebody kick a rod through the damn billet oil pan. I think you said you have, but no, not a billet oil pan. I've kicked them out of the bottom of OKZs and GSs. It's got the old cast pans, but I've never yeah. seen. Okay, I've never well, seen a rod come out of a billet oil pan. Not personally. Yeah, it may be somebody has, but yeah. dang, a bill like I feel like a billet oil pan is that I mean that's yeah, just the oil pan in itself. Like yeah, the, that the, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. That I mean, oil pan isn't isn't the you know the the factor area of an oil leak. It's yeah, the front so what, of them, it's the front of them cases. But, but right. So like that's my question <laughs> is like why did why have uh, I don't know and like I said I'm not trying but to I guess it's the only the way to, to just only way to do it is to wrap under. You know and, what I mean? Yeah, I, I don't know, but I mean that's what I'll say this like that Taylor one a DME sells that you sell, like that makes sense because it comes up to the header. It's a nice piece, man. But it I really mean, is. but that's to me, that's covering what needs to be covered, right? Yeah. Because like I agree. It goes we, halfway. We've seen so many rods come through the front of the cases and well, really the cases, not the block per se, but hey, the man, cases. What's hot old do do when it hits your hot header? Catches on fire. So yeah. realistically, let's just keep that oil off the header if we can. So it goes up like almost halfway up the cylinder on mine. They don't have that strapped on there. And I feel like that if it ever does kick a rod, I don't, I mean, there might be some mist, I guess you'd say, but I think it'll, you know, the other cool thing about it is, is it, for guys that use a cooling system, it actually, it cradles the water pump, the hose that goes to the water pump and it like keeps it inside. So if you kick a cooling hose, it's not going to let cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's now true. this, this is kind of toward the reason I don't like it. Okay. So this I, is what you're going at, right? Yeah. So okay. I can, I'm the type of racer that will sit at my trailer in a chair between rounds and just look at my motorcycles. So when you're doing that, sometimes you might catch a little oil leak or a bolt coming loose or anything with that damn diaper on there. You have no clue. Like you don't know right. anything that it covers. You have no idea if there's a bolt loose or a minor oil leak that could become a serious oil leak. So, you know, every time I come home from a race, I pull my oil filters off. So I fold it back, get it off of it and do my filter thing. And I always look at the diaper and make sure that it's dry and there's never right. been anything in it. Well, I just now took my bike somewhere to get worked on. We'll talk about maybe later. And I took the diaper off before I took it. That way it'd be out of his way. And, you know, he told me, I asked him about my bike. He's like, yeah, it's sitting here leaking oil. I'm like, what? I didn't even know it had like a small oil leak because there was a diaper on it. So that's my complaint is two, you can't. Two tones leaking? <laughs> yeah. I told him, I said, I said, it's crying because it ain't home with me. He goes, you're probably right. <laughs> well, probably. <laughs> probably well, people, are right. People are. See, I'm opposite. Know, I'm opposite. Bike, so. I love a diaper because I don't know when my shit's leaking. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I'm a I'm a lifelong mechanic. You know, that's all I've yeah. done my whole life. So it's like, and I'm not taking the whole thing. Like when I do, it's really easy to like. People's like, "What's well, gonna be a pain to take my, you know, do my oil changes?" I'm like, nah, no, it's you loosen not. the strap around the block, fold that bad boy up under the oil pan, do your filter, your drain plug, clean everything up, put it back on, pull yeah. the strap tight, tie a little knot in it, you're done. No, nah, I mean, it's, it's really not that bad. I mean, like you said, it's it, and when you're thinking about it, yeah. I mean, you're like, oh man, it's going to be a pain to, to do that and this I, and blah, blah. And it's like, no, nah, it's really not that bad. I mean, I will say this at Maryland, I've seen a bunch of racers that use them that have engine problems and blow one up or whatever. And they're over there with degreaser trying to blast that thing clean when it's soaked with oil. That looks like a mess. Like I see those guys. I'm like, ugh, like that has to be terrible to try to get oil out of fabric with a water hose and then oh. right Earl oh. and then get, and then get it back <laughs> on your bike to go race the next session or round or the next day or whatever. Like, I mean, Jimmy had his and he was like, it's saturated. I'm like, man, you're going to have to like soak that thing in some degreaser and let it just chill for a minute. Maybe blast yeah. it out. And yeah. that looks frustrating, but the, the overall view of any kind of diaper or oil containment is in my opinion, is a very good thing. Um, it sucks for the very few for the man cup deal. I don't feel sorry for people that have to take their nitrous bottle off because they can either do that or buy something. But the people that well, have I mean, to, that's that's a choice. You know, we're faced with choices. Every yeah, day. but mean, the people like that have to change their whole combo because they have to have it. 
I that feel sucks. I feel terrible for those guys. And, you know, it there's some suck. people. I seen one guy. He was like, well, I have to have a diaper on my triple. It don't even have oil in it because it's a two-stroke, right? Well, you know, that guy's kind of right. The engine don't use oil cuts in the fuel, but the transmission and the clutch has oil in it. Um, so I seen his comment, and I'm like, eh, you know, you do have oil in your transmission. Damn, you, that had me question stuff for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Well, then, you know, the guys that have, I mean, Donnie Huffman, he's got that electric live wire. He's going to have to have a diaper on that bad boy. He ain't got no oil in it, no worse. No, have have why would he have to have a diaper? Everything. I mean, I'm oh, just oh, oh, man cup. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Just... It goes oh, down the racetrack. Man, no way. <laughs> just... No I mean, exceptions. I mean, that's the way I. I no mean, that's exceptions? the way I take it. It's electric. Yeah. Oh it ain't... man. I mean, maybe it's got oil in the forks. I don't know. You know we gotta I mean? ask I mean... Donnie. We gotta. We gotta send Donnie a message. Oh man, could you imagine Donnie up in here? Donnie, oh, can man. do you have to put a diaper on your live wire? Oh man. Like, and I mean, Donnie might be, you know, Donnie's a cool old guy, man, old school, won all kinds of races and championships. And he gave me a shirt one time and I wear it around. The year we went after it, me and him racing Banff. If I was going to say Donnie's a Banff, he's a Banff. Yeah. Yeah. He is the Harley Banff. And, uh, man, he's a super cool guy. Let me ride his live wire when he just got it. And wild as hell. Man, I've seen so a- many videos of him doing rolling burnouts on that. Yeah. Thing. Well, we done it at Valdesta one time, Spencer <laughs> and us. He, he was. Well, he might have been intoxicated. He had a cigarette <laughs> in his mouth. He goes, how about it? And he took that cigarette and put it in his <laughs> mouth, and he started to burn out. And I swear, he went from like 1,000-foot mark at the racetrack, you know, in the pits, to almost a freaking like toward the ticket booth, like all the way down through there, just bull on the tire. Oh, damn, I was not there. I'm so sad. Yeah, when we left, dude, there were black marks everywhere, and it was all that live wire. And that thing's cool. I wrote it. I was going to typically, I, I mean, seriously, I was wanting to buy one. To race, and then all these Nazis were like, "Oh, electric bikes ain't allowed." And I'm like, "Why could you not allow a bike that's made from the factory to race?" That's a that's a big uh, that's a big talk in the uh, big money car racing scene. You know, I mean, you well, you might not know. Like, that's a big talk with the Teslas. Have you heard that or seen that? Are oh, they afraid of a fucking electric car in their full blown race cars? <laughs> I got got you, Kirsch. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah they. Uh, yeah. So man, it's like, uh, dude, a couple, a couple of the. Um, of the promoters and uh i guess promoters that's yeah promoters not really serious but whatever they 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 don't allow uh the teslas which you know look i've i've been to some of the races with them um and i've seen them and the i know the one guy that uh he posts his stuff all the time uh i just blanked on his name i feel like it's donnie H- no not donnie we just talking about donnie huffman danny danny hoffman i think yeah Anyway, wow, names are very close. I know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I was confused. Yeah. Uh, anyways, he did. He did. He actually did really well at the last one I went to at Darlington. I think he made it to like, I don't know, seven miles. But what, here's the point: like, there's still variables, and from what I could tell, it, here's the thing that I've seen personally, just on electric stuff, is like, the weather doesn't affect it. Okay, like so. L- l- yeah, that's an advantage. But Do you it, really it, think that the temperature don't affect them things? It, but I know it, it just it has not, to not like bit. no, not like a combustion engine. Like, no, so, no, 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 no. So you still have wind and stuff. It. Like yeah. I guess, I guess you should say like this: like the performance of that when equally charged should be the same, right? But like wind could affect it a hundred percent, right? So like yeah. you still have that aspect of weather. But I'll put it like this: like I can say this that Danny that I'm talking about in the Tesla, like I can tell you what his dial in is going to be. At anywhere he goes race. And it's going to be between a 770 and a 776. That's cool. Or whatever. But um, but so it, it's not ever changing. But it he might run a 771 one pass and then a 773 the next pass. And honestly, when you're going to race for a million dollars or 50 grand or 100,000, which these big money races are, like two 200 isn't that good. Like that's not good. So like my personal thoughts on electric stuff, which now we're talking let about. Them, let them stuff, race. Yeah, I have no problem with it. I mean, whatever. Now it is funny to watch, you know, a, a almost eight second, eighth mile electric Tesla race. You know, yeah. hell of four fifty dragster. That's that's wild. That's what I don't understand about it. Like here I am. Let's just say I've got purpose built street ET or pro ET motorcycles. They're built to go the drag strip and bracket race. I'm not worried about a guy that went to Harley Davidson and bought a motorcycle that's factory. I'm just not like, I mean, as a racer, that might kind of sound arrogant. I'm sorry if it does, but it's not really what I'm trying to get at. I'm trying to get at that. I purpose built a motorcycle to drag race 
And if it comes off the showroom floor to drag race, it should be allowed. That's my honest opinion. But, I mean, there's some series that just frown upon it. I mean, of course, Man Cup didn't. And I don't think XDA. I think XDA. I think I want to say Destiny was racing. Yeah, Destiny's, a bike there. De- I've raced Destiny on a live wire. It's, but it's, didn't they didn't they disallow her or something afterwards? Like what? Um, did, didn't she start testing it or something afterwards? Like she couldn't race it or something? I don't know. I mean, if it I feel if like that something happened. happened. I don't know. I mean, I know, I know for a fact I've raced her in competition on a, on when, you know, she was yeah. riding a lot. Yeah, I, I was beside if you. I, if something I happened, lost. I don't, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> you done lost before me. Yeah. I was, I was rare, yeah. but have you many times I videoed you racing? Cause I done got beat. I well, you don't ever send me the videos. Then. Every, I usually <laughs> post them. I'm usually live on Facebook, I think, but, um, every Friday night gamblers race. At <laughs> <laughs> can we I can't can, get hey, by the well, third round? Can we say that I am unofficially the gamblers champion of 2022? That's my what? championship. Yeah. And what better person to win and do that as many times as you did in a hard times parts and service sponsored class than my best bud? Like That's it right. just, it don't like to me, it's I'm the still ultimate undefeated. win. I'm, on, I'm yeah. still undefeated, right? Like we went, let's say I won three in a row. What happened at the last race? I won three. They, in, oh, we had to. I mean, stop you were still kidding. in we had to right? stop but i was still in so i'm on that's back to them that's back to them at earl downs you're talking about Earl it, downs. was it earl yeah. downs earl downs or rain um, I, can't remember. I don't think it was i don't think it was rain yeah i think it was it or, oral downs I earl even, downs or i can't even say it like you have to teach me how to say that but yeah man we don't got off on a tangent but well, I, will, I, mean, I, I do claim i i you know what? That just reminded me. I never did even like a Facebook recap. Man, I suck this this year. I didn't even talk about my season. Well, unofficially, I'm officially the Hard Times Parts and Service XDA Gamblers Champion. I'm claiming it. I wish y'all I can, had a button y'all, to push to go. Like y'all can be mad. Hi, y'all, y'all, y'all can be mad. Y'all can hate. Whatever. <laughs> I, for better for worse, I was I was doing well in that class <laughs> in the gamblers. Yeah. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one. I want. I, I have. It, while we're talking about it, hell. Um, I I started sponsoring that race on Friday Night Gamblers at XDA, and I have never went past the third round and since. I, and I'm and talking I, two years. And look, I hate to see my buddy not do well in a race he sponsors, but damn, it feels good knowing that you ain't going to be there at the end of the race. Yeah, because I'll tell you something. <laughs> I'll tell you something about me. Oh, you the know, more, I'm just playing, more, but like, well, damn, it's like, man, I got raced Dustin because he, he was out three rounds ago. And I'll I'll say this honestly: the more rounds I go, the better I get. Oh, 100 so percent. If you won't get me, you better get me earlier. What's what's, what's your uh, what's your hardest round? Like for me to win? Yeah. What, what do you what in a, in any race you got to have a hardest oh, round? Man, like they ain't what, nothing. They ain't nothing worse than first round of top sportsman on Sunday and ain't made a test pass. I hate that. It's the worst. Like that is the only round that I never know what the box going to do for sure. Yeah. But like, it's generally though, is it's not first round though. I mean, I guess top sportsman, like what mine's third round. If I win third round, I feel like the, I feel like I, I that's like the pinnacle for me. If I win I third I round in a race. I don't never worry about first round really? or second round. Cause you usually buy back or something. most times. So. That's what I mean. I, th- I think that's why I, I like, to me it's third round. Cause like, like, yeah, like there's nothing after usually after first round. I mean, like yeah, an we've, SDBA. We've raised some stuff where you can do first or second, but like well, third round, I, I just feel say. like, oh, do they do that SDBA? Yeah, SDBA does first or second round. So if I win first round, I'm like, cool, I'm going to third. Because if I lose second, I'm about back. Okay, maybe, well, yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe that's where NHDRO did that, right? Yeah, they did. Yep. Okay. Yep. So Sometimes where... they would do first and they'd change it up. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's mine. mine it, and, it, you know, it's any any race, especially the – Hell yeah. of a, well, heck, gamblers. Like, if I just if I go through three rounds, then I feel like I'm I'm on a path. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, um, it's um. Go ahead. I think I think we've kind of touched all the diaper talk. I was I mean, gonna I, say, what else we need to talk about diapers? I mean, like it's it's been a hot topic. Let's let's. How about we wrap the diaper up? And if we want to keep talking, we will. But let's wrap. Let's sum up the diaper stuff. Like, so, so we got realistically, the FDA rule changes. We got the main yeah. cup in. Look, hey, how about this? If anybody's listening, you're confused, you have questions, let us know. I mean, what we, we want to yeah. help you. So let us know. You you don't know what to do, you're frustrated, like or if it's a us, series you're wanting to go to, you can always contact the, the 
you know, the series and be like, hey, can you clarify this rule for me? Because let me be real with you. I don't know all the rules to the T off the top of my head. I'd have to look them up if you ask me. But if you email, let's just say, for example, Jason Miller about XDA rules, it, whatever he tells you, answer, screenshot it. And if you come to a race and they get on, you'd be like, well, Jason said. That's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've done that before. <laughs> well, no, I'm just I, I I'm just preparing. My, I always try to you know have a plan B, and that would be my plan. B. I feel like I have screenshotted that something before. I, I mean, I, well, pocket. if you run a heads up class and you know you send like you know real street or whatever, <laughs> oh, wow. you send something to that. Yeah, you best you best be screenshotting your reply. <laughs> I'm just saying because it might change I'm tomorrow. Just saying, you know what I mean? Just saying, we love you, Jason. We love. <laughs> yeah, you. we do. Um, I'm just he's a very stressful job for all these like actually. I want to say thank you to the series, you know, the promoters at B because this, like for us, we get stressed out. Imagine them having to make that call, like has to be so stressful. And and there's a lot to this stuff that we don't all know. And I've kind of, dabbled yeah, in, you know, it's, it's very stressful to do that. And a lot of them have regular jobs that ain't going to be their main income. So they're trying to stack it on top of other things. Just like me and Ben right now talking to y'all. This ain't what we do to make a living. We just talking to our people. That's what we're doing. Our people. That's right. And look, like like Dustin said, I mean, like we're not we're not dogging on any series, any promoter, no. nothing. I mean, we're we're just we're just talking it out. We're just talking it out, trying to make sense of it, and and just giving y'all our input. I mean, the end result is it is what it is. We don't yeah, make the rules. Yeah. We just got to follow them. But that's saying it. that again, you know, like if if anybody needs help or is confused or whatever, I mean, we'll help you. Let let us know. I mean, yeah. and there's if, plenty of people. If that something's really prohibiting you, then let us know too. You know, we we might have some means to figure something hey, out to help you. We've out. also had a few people in comments on Facebook be like, well, "Can we ask questions?" Yes, you can ask questions. You're going to have to ask them pre-recording for us right, to know right, what you're yeah. asking. This ain't well, live. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to have to get a question. But that's the thing. Like I said, we're going to get feedback on the Facebook, Instagram, yeah, website, we need whatever. That. No, yeah, we're getting. Like I said, we already got it. And we ain't. We have not even launched anything. I mean, hot topics. Like, if you guys want to talk about something, we talk about it. Yeah, for sure. I done told y'all we talk about chickens. <laughs> Man, we're gonna have to get some chickens. I heard. I, eggs I, I, like I sent you that. I sent you that. Oh, picture, yeah, man. yeah, that picture. Yeah, yeah they, they bagging them eggs. bitches three, up. Three, three, <laughs> three eggs to a bag. That's a, this is like a dime bag or something. I don't yeah, know. my papa, rest in peace, bless his heart. Man, he used to always have chickens and have fresh eggs. We had so many, we'd give them to customers at my dad's salvage yard. Two eggs. Man, Dude, I wish my papa was still here to have some eggs. When you, for those that have never had like fresh eggs, I mean, they're the best, man. Look, they are, and look, they look different too. It's all, man, yes, the yolk is oranger. Up, yeah, they. It's like, all it about just that makes cholesterol. Yeah, it makes you wonder. Here, my fat ass is talking about food. <laughs> oh man. Um. So yeah, like just like I said, we're gonna sum up the diapers. I mean, look, we feel your pain. You know, I mean. Nobody wants to spend money that they didn't plan to spend, especially because, you know, we're doing this for fun. You want to spend the money on what you want to spend it on. But look, at the end of the day, it, it's it's going to keep you safer for you and your family and friends. And, you know, there there's choices, you know, like I said, at XDA, take the bottle off. And if you use the bottle for certain things, then you need to sign up for the university to win is all I can say, because we hey. can teach you how to race without that bottle. You know what? Look at the diaper. Right? We're going to teach you how to race without yeah. that bottle. Hey. I got methods. Hey, I, I'm not going to go too much deep into this, but I would take my Gen 2 clutch out of my bike if I had to pick between that clutch and that nitrous. I'm just telling you. Like, that's just my honest opinion. I would take that clutch out to keep the Ooh, nitrous. They said really? you had to pick one. I would pull that clutch out and keep my nitrous 110%. For sure. Yeah, I'm, you're a better rider than me. I would. I will. Yes, I would, because, well, here's the deal. I would probably go, go the opposite. I would probably choose the Gen 2 over Nitrous. Man, let's just say, for example, you huckle bucket one round. But you still was <laughs> you were still you were still green. You know what I mean? Yeah. You yeah. grab that override button and you get busy, make that huckle buck up, and then it's still game on. Look, I'm getting old. I don't want you know, I say that, you know what? I say that, but look, I jumped be in, fine. but I jumped in Street ET a couple times last year. I had a blast. That was the most fun I had was what the last two races. Yeah, I, mean, I wanted to hell, do that on the bike that you the, rode yeah, all year too. Well, look, hey, somebody had to steal Spencer's ride. So all yeah, right, you know what? Hey, I yeah. gave it back to him. I got the you know what he said. 
Yeah, the trunchable. The trunchable is yeah. coming for that. Baby. You know what that it's fool coming. said to me when he stopped by my house a couple weeks ago on his way back from Pennsylvania? Oh, you? yeah, you did tell me. He's in my garage and he's like, Where's your other bike? I said, What do you mean? He said, You, you know, your your old bracket bike, the Carbon High Boost. I said, Well, there's the frame and there's a new swing arm and there's a the body work on the Mustang. Like, I was like, Dude, Why do you think I had your bike all year? Oh, I didn't know. Man. <laughs> man talk about a good friend just give me his bike didn't even i mean i told him he just didn't pay attention we love him though tell you what there's not many there's there is somebody you know spencer will help anyone like it's great like we can go on forever about that but i mean he is a really good friend oh for sure and we try to be the same right back to him Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. but realistically i feel like that we covered the diaper stuff pretty well I, mean, I don't think, know. I don't know. Maybe we think so. I don't, we'll let everybody else decide. Hey, post this, if, right? if they don't like it, they tell us what to talk about next time. Tell us we'll what to talk, talk about it. next time. What? I mean, we already got ideas though. Should we talk ideas. about that? Um, yeah, we can talk about some ideas. Let's, so all that, right, let's so let let's, the fat man go first. The diaper. Let's call it those a diaper. Uh, did you have one of them diaper genie things? You know what I'm talking about? You there? Yeah. The what? Did you have one of those diaper genie things for Harper? It's just like a little contraption you throw the dirty diapers in, anyways. Or I just uh, was gonna, if you did, I was gonna say we're gonna put we'll put this conversation in the diaper genie. Oh uh, well, we it's I like mean, this we can, little trap door trash can that like hey, seals up the scent so you don't. Hey, smell. buddy, huh? We're, let's just put that in the trash. Put it in the trash. Diapers yeah, the diaper. in the trash. We're done with it. Leave us comments when whenever we get this stuff launched and aired. Leave us comments. We want to know. So what's next? What we got? Ideas? You? Said? I want to talk about. One of the topics that you hit me up about the other day, and it's got me for I'm fired up. About Ooh, fired you don't know up. Fat Man's fired up. You know uh, what I he know gets what fired up say. about. I know what you're gonna say. Tell him. Tell him what. Tell him what a topic of a future podcast episode is. How about them good eats? Where you eat at when you're at the racetrack? What's them a good place to go track. eat at? What y'all? What y'all know about them racetrack eats? And what do y'all wait. know about them racetrack? Everybody eats? knows where I go when I'm in Maryland, but we're not going to talk Maryland's about Maryland's easy. Maryland's easy though. Yeah. That's but they, they we got but Virginia on lock too. We got we, Virginia on lock. We oh, got Maryland on lock. We got it. We got it oh, figured out. Oh man, I, so, I don't. Did they close Memphis? Memphis, you didn't have to go nowhere, bro. <laughs> they had. I to, know. I, we can't talk about this. The boy, we gonna fuck up. No, the next but show. I'm saying, did they close? <laughs> did they close Memphis? I think they did, didn't they? Memphis oh, racetrack? I don't think so. Did it? Maybe, maybe I, I read something about that. I think I read something about that. I don't I think know. I close it. That's another thing. Y'all need to be thankful. That's going to be the, another topic. Y'all need to be thankful for the tracks. And like I said, we we I don't know Hollywood really well, but like we love Jason. We love Holly. We we love anybody that's Sunny Vic. Sunny Vic. We didn't even Vic. talk about the SDBA ah, diaper we rules. Didn't. What's the diaper rules in SDBA? They ain't none. See, hold on, hold on. We got to pull it back out of the trash. All right, what's the diaper rules? They ain't none. <laughs> they ain't none. All right. Nope. I, I don't think there is any for NHDRO anyway. But there look, was some, we, there were, hey, well, real quick, there was some hard feelings between them other two, though. Them other two was upset, old Sonny. Well, they ain't none. He took some bullets. But yeah, SDBA but ultimately, you're talking about the other series were not happy with Sonny? Yes, 100%. They wasn't happy. Well, look, I, I, you know, and I get that a little bit. I get it. You know, everybody needs to work together. I get, I get that. It. But at the end of the day, you know, everybody's running their own thing. So if another man or woman doesn't, doesn't agree with it or doesn't think it's good now, for their series, then, you know, in Sonny's defense, you got an eighth mile series. A lot less stuff happened eighth mile race. Well, sure. Well, no, I agree with that. That goes, I give him that. And I'll expand to that on land speed racing. You're talking about some scary shit. You know what? That's an now that I think about it, I bet there wasn't a handful of oil downs at STBA. You just said it wrong. Last year. Of what? A handful of oil downs. Earl. <laughs> there wasn't even a handful of oil downs at STBA last year that I remember. There might have been a couple, but they wasn't bad. Like they were pretty quick. Now, and look, you know, he don't I... have a thousand motorcycles either, right? or seven hundred, yeah. or five hundred. He's probably got about three, three fifty entries. But you know, he maybe not even that. But he, you know, it. And he made the right call for his group, I think. And, well, that's what I'm saying. You got to you got to tailor it to your group. And like you said, you you know you know some of Hollywood's vision where he's trying to get it, and you know it it might not fit everybody's needs. But saying that this this podcast was about the diaper drama, and 
the reason we I forgot STBA is because there wasn't none. There wasn't there, none. There wasn't no diaper drama. And there isn't any that I know of for NHDRO. That you know, I love no, Brian same rules. and Nikki yep. and their series. Um, you know, I love And I in miss Ohio. him people. I miss the whole crew, man. Damn. Look, I'm I hate to say it, but that's I had so much fun at NHRO. That I feel series like I feel like was I had fun. To, I feel like I had the most fun at NHRA, and that's not knocking XDA. That's not knocking oh. any other series, but I just – You know why? It was our group. I know why. It's because yeah. we had a good group, you know, going and there. Ev- well, the whole place is a good group. Like, you can go to those races, man, and we're, since we're talking about an HGRO, you know, we you could go there and, like, Friday night after everything's done, testing, go watch some grudge, and everybody hangs out against the wall, and you're not busy. I think we like it more because it's a little – little less about racing like, all day and night yeah, it's and like having that. a good time with your friends, you know. And it's more of a get-together and having a good time and a little bit of racing on the side. And yeah. hey, I ain't going to lie, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I miss – and man, Jeff Gordon, his fish. <laughs> Jeff Gordon, yeah. Fat man misses his food so bad. Like the last time I had any of Jeff Gordon's fish was Indy in 2021. I miss it bad. Like that dude can throw down. Should, should we – can we plan a trip, you and I? Not not like just us alone, but you know, like can we go to an NHRO this year? I mean, I'd be down if they dibble dabbled in our, you know, kind of closer <laughs> to my yeah, the realm, man. What, like what is let's look it up. I want to see now. Now I'm interested. Past, Does he the have past a... couple of years they've been so far away? I mean, I went to that one at uh, what's that track called Trails. Never been there before. And then I went You went to there. National Trails? When the hell did you go there? Twenty twenty one. Buddy, oh. I want a big fat check at that dude. That's a Oh, okay. I, that's the time I told my wife if I win this race, I'm not staying for the rest of the weekend. Guess what? I loaded up, come home. That's right. I because I called you on your bullshit. I said you're full of it. You ain't doing that, and then you did. <laughs> of course, I, I thought you were gonna win too. Hey, I just after you get, after you get a paper check, Ricky Bobby Happy Gilmore check that said thirty four thousand, you ain't staying for no hundred. I mean, a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars. You're going yeah. to the house, you know. And I also, in my defense, that week I built. My motor on yeah, I remember that Valentine's now. Day, uh-huh. you know, or you know what Valentine's? It was my anniversary or something. Yeah, it was my anniversary, and uh, and I had to go back and make that up. I had to go, I had to go take my mama out to dinner, and it was to us that that whole deal was a very emotional thing because me that was a whole lot of money, and uh, oh yeah, it, it was a family thing, and That's the only good. people I wanted to be with was my girls, you know. Yeah, and then I went to Indy the same year. And I think I won the no box shootout, I think, or whatever, and uh, got some Jeff. Is that Gordon when you let me? Is that when you let me ride two tone? No, that was twenty twenty. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how I'm all confused. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was trying to be a real street racer. These years, these years has flew by, man. Like man, you remember in fifteen, we were at them all, and then sixteen, we were at them all. Is fifteen think, when we hated each other, or sixteen? <laughs> no, no, we never really hated each we didn't other. Hate we each just, other. We about fought, we just com- we just competitive motherfuckers is what we was. We got we got too into Banff. We did. Yeah. We let's have a Banff episode. I'm putting that on the podcast. Yeah, idea. that'd be a good we one to talk about. That. I feel like we did both on JT. Whatever happened to JT's? You know, he posted mine. I never did see yours. I did. I listened to myself talking. Oh, did Made you? Fun myself. Oh. Banff episode. I'm putting that in the notes. What I gotta talk to JT. I he so, was doing podcasts. What? Yeah. Maybe he's talking. I don't know. Well, he's just been busy. He's got some life stuff going on. I think. Oh, okay. Well, keep either your, way. Your thoughts. Hey, look. I looked up. We we we're. This is what y'all asked for. By the way, we're by my calculations. And by the way, I I need another drink. But we're an hour and fifteen in. Y'all at least want an hour there. But look. NHDRO, Dustin, August 4th through 6th, Edgewater. Can we do yeah, it? Yeah, but, but I don't know where I'm racing. You don't plan? Damn, you don't plan. No, Look, I don't I'm looking plan. at a wall calendar in my office right now. Ha, ha, I don't even – man, I hate calendars. You know, all right, well, this was a good segment because we had this. We, we, we had said if we get through our diaper rash, were we going to talk about anything else? We don't have to talk about it all, but I, I had wrote down in the show notes that – if we want to touch on any winter upgrades or or what our racing plans for, so let's just go with racing plans. If nothing else, what are you, what are your plans for this year? You got to know something. Don't tell everybody you don't know where you're racing. I mean, I know I'm racing at XDA, SDBA, and the close man cups. I want to try to do the man cups. Wow. The, the XDA and the SDBA are a hundred percent. 
Dustin's Dustin, committed to two series and then some. Well, you know, Dustin really, what Dustin really wants to do is Dustin wants to go to Bristol and join the points and race one weekend, which is two races, to go to the division finals. I haven't done that. Let's do it. I'll do that with you. I haven't done that in a really long time. And the reason that I didn't is because, you know, a lot of reasons, money, finances, racing for points and series always had me caught up, didn't have time when I was home. I didn't want to go to Bristol and sit all day to race with 12 motorcycles. But I want to go to the divisionals because the last time I went, my bike was broke. Before I went, I fixed it. I thought I get there, something else broke, and I had to borrow a bike from Jerry. I've never rode before. I think I might, no, at the time I never, I rode it yet one time. Well, you borrowed anyway. one of Jerry's bikes at a division at the D2? Yeah, yeah. My bike broke and I rode Jerry's How bike. I know that. I don't know. And, <laughs> uh, and then we went, we went, to, let's see, we went down there. I take that back. That's the time before my last time. But last time I went, same deal. I get down there and my bike pops up. Well, well look, then I'll we'll load a trailer up bikes. We got bikes yeah. now. It's not a problem. Yeah. You want yeah, to I mean, you want you want to make a run at it? I I'll, really I'll want to. You. So you know, a lot of people. Let's get the game I, together. Let's you and me and Uncle Jerry go uh, hit some. Well, we know Jerry will, but hit some Bristol races. Let's all go to uh, division yeah. finals. I wouldn't care to do that. Um, I want to because I've never done it like with the good equipment that I have now. I mean, a lot of people, man. That's all they live for is to go to the divisional and maybe win and go to Vegas or Pomona or wherever it's at. And in my opinion, that's a very high prestige, the NHRA, you know, pro ET bike, pro bike, or whatever they call it, championship. 100%. But also, in my other opinion, it's just another series. That's, in my opinion, that's, you know, it's another series. It's very hard to do because you have to win. You have to do good points to go at some local tracks. Some local tracks, you can just join points and probably go. And then you have to go to the bracket finals and win. Then you have to go to, you know, the the division, like the last one, the the Vegas or California or Pomona, wherever it's at, and win there to be the champ. And uh, it's it's a hard thing to do because you have to do it kind of almost three times. Yeah. So so I want to do it. Yeah. But I I don't know if – it just depends. Like, I, you know, my business is important. Running my business is no oh, family and business first for sure. Let's do this. When we, f- I don't think it's out because I actually think I looked the other day. Um, when we find out when the the division finals are, then we'll we'll decide. I have to renew my license and stuff. That stuff, man. It's- yeah, well, yeah, well, that is a pain in the ass. But got to do know, the license we'll pass. That. But look, I'm telling you right now, I'm looking at the NHGRA schedule. Brian done. He's downsized. I get it. He's yeah, got three, three races, three weekends. Three weekends. Wait a minute. It's three weekends with two races each weekend. I think. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Three weekends. Um, <clears throat> the first one's end of April. Um, at Muncie. No offense. I'm not that interested. I've had success at Muncie, but it's, you know, I man, I won there riding Willie's pro ET with no box, baby. At Muncie, Woo. you been to Muncie? Yeah. The grass in the oh. middle. Me and you race in the final. Man, like no, didn't you and I leave Maryland or some shit and drive all night? No, nah, we were going to go to Maryland and it got canceled because Jack canceled. was running it. And we oh. went to Muncie. Bob Carlson come. Remember, we all was hanging out. It was a good time. That was wild. That's yeah. right. Man, we got to talk. That's got to be an episode. That's, dude, we have so many stories. Yeah. It's unreal. I, so I would like for the, the listeners to give us some options on stories. Yeah. If you, they want. It, we got plenty of stories. And look, man, oh, we're all hey, over the place tonight. Like Dustin, we did yeah, talk we about diapers, getting, but yeah, we're all we over the about, place. But like, <laughs> like Dustin said, like if y'all are actually listening, I mean, we're going on, and you know, we're we're gonna go at least ninety minutes tonight. But like, if you're going, if you're listening, if you're tuned in, if you're feeling us, like, let us know. Did you? If you just heard like us talking about, you know, uh, uh, we planned to go to Maryland that weekend. It got rained out, so. We huddled up, like literally called each other, and we just drove from – instead of going to Maryland, we went to Indiana. Yeah. Indi- awesome. if you want, If you want to hear that story, we'll tell it. You just got to let us know. Um, I think I hey, won Pro ET Saturday and run it up in the street Saturday or something. It was crazy. You got a better memory than me. I don't – Well, don't I just remember because it was like the first time I raced there, and I have a thing, a new track I want to win at. 
And I, I just have a thing about that. I, I do remember, though, like us being we raced. like, I re- well, I don't even remember that. I don't tell me the outcome of that. I remember being lined up outside the gate like it was pretty late, you know, because we had all finally made it there. We were like, this Remember wild. Doug was driving his shifter cart in the pits? Yeah, we got kicked out, remember? Well, he or, got kicked out for well, running his little, yeah. He I mean, got, we were we got, done. We were done. It was, it was like Sunday, that. but they were like, y'all need You me. know what I remember about Doug? He walked over to my grill. He goes, God dang, look at them big fat steaks. I said, you want one? <laughs> I was cooking steaks on the grill. <laughs> oh man! Well, look, hey, NHRO August fourth, fourth through the sixth is at. Cincinnati. I need to make a schedule like that's a responsible what I, I, adult. Can you, you know what? Make a schedule on the weekends. People look. Like, I will hey, mail you one. A wall. You can get a big wall calendar like I do. Look, I'm talking to you. I got a calendar. Well, we need to get some Red Hill Racing podcast ones. That'd be cool. Ain't nobody wants some wall calendars. But I'm gonna send you the one I use. It's it's like four foot tall and two and a half foot wide. And I ain't, I got all these trophies and shit. I ain't got room for a four foot. <laughs> Damn. I ain't got no Problem. room for a. <laughs> but look, how far how far is Cincinnati? What five hours? I mean, yeah, I think trails is close to that, and I think it took. No me. bullshit. Trail National Trails is in Columbus. That's way farther for you. Okay, so yeah, I think Cincinnati trails is was... straight up seventy five. Yeah, I think trails was six and a half, so it's probably about five. Yeah, okay. Well, look, I'm just you and I will collaborate, but August fourth through sixth, it would be their last event. I want to, I want to go there. That's that's a good weekend. We ain't got nothing. Well, I don't want to say we. I don't wait. Do I have? Yeah, you don't have no SDBA. My money is SDBA. Probably have something. Probably. I don't know when's sunny now. I'm not worried about that that right now. I'm looking up right now to at least see. I'm getting you. You're on the spot. We gotta look it up. How to look this up. Is my internet not working? I hope so. We need um, to be realistically. We gotta. So we're gonna try to do better on these guys. We're gonna try to like stick with subjects, but realistically, we're gonna. Yeah, bounce around. we covered what we wanted. Yeah, but we're gonna bounce around because we have so much history and stories that it just it's so easy to get sidetracked and talk about whatever. I mean, there's we could go on and on. And I know another hot topic that's going on right now. We may write it down. And there's some drama going on with the soul stock, the, the, the what? The media, the, the media for motorcycle drag race. Have you been seeing Man, that? Yeah, I have. I, I don't, I don't know if I right want to pull that no. kind of, that's the kind of stunt that he would pull. You know, I mean, I think I just want to, you know, there's some drama going I, I will, on. We ain't going to touch that right now. Maybe later on. That's what I'm talking about. Like maybe another yeah. subject one day, but there's, yeah, there's so um, much stuff. That we Man, we'll can, talk about whatever y'all want to hear. Tell us. We want to know what you want to we hear. We need, yeah, we need feedback. And also, what's wild remember, though is that like we're recording this now and like we already recorded the intro and like that's what that's what I was saying. That's crazy. Like we got feedback because I, you know, I was posting on Facebook and you were sharing and stuff and like, like, hey, we did an intro. We're getting closer, everybody. And then we get like feedback because I was pumped, right? Because I'm like, dude, we did an intro. It's 22 minutes. Like, I mean, the last time I posted talk to on that? Facebook was me and you were live doing a podcast right now. That's oh, really? Oh, that. you really? You posted that? All right. Yeah. Well, I'm saying, but like we uh, we posted after the first one the other night. What well, we did that? Monday, Tuesday? But it, whatever. Yeah. And we were like, hey, you know, we just did a 22-minute intro. And then like our feedback was like, we need hour, two, three-hour long podcasts. And we're like, holy shit. Like, y'all haven't even heard us. You sure you want to hear us for that long? But no, we want yeah. uh, we want that. Hey, look, I found SDBA. Like, so nothing that weekend. The w- weekend after is Ohio Valley, but lock it in, lock it in. I don't That's know. I hate, back. I hate them back. I hate NHRO weekends, man. I hate them. But hey, look, uh, I can tell you that uh, you know what X- my most X- important XDA thing? isn't close to it. XDA is a couple weeks before that. So if you did back, back to back for you, what it is for me. It, yeah, but back to back, what you hate is back to back to back. And sometimes back to back to back to back. I hate, I hate back to backs too. Whatever. We're getting old, whatever. I burnt myself out bad. But anyway, I love racing. Don't get me wrong, but I have prioritized my wife and little girl over Which you racing. should, which you should. Yeah, I, I, when I come home from, Three weeks of racing. I look at my daughter and I think she's grown an inch or two. I don't like that. I don't. I want to look at her and go. Nothing's changed. And that's what I'm. Isn't that the truth? 
Well, hey, what else? Do. What else we want to cover? We want to cover anything else tonight? We'll and I think we've tangents. I think we've killed this thing. We've went an hour and a half. Hour and a like half, almost. ninety minutes yeah. for for everybody that was saying that you wanted. Uh, it was a couple. What? Let's give some shout outs. Who who was it? Tom and Paul. Uh, Tom Tom Grooms told me three hours. Told me it's crazy. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Well, but. look, we just hit ninety minutes on our second one, and this was this is technically our first you know real episode. So yeah. Whether we have the time or come up with it, I got to get up early. I got to go do my real job tomorrow. I One still got to go jobs. in the garage and do some work. Oh, snap. Who? Uh, Paul also commented, right? Paul Phillips? Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a, he's commented several times. He wants stickers. <laughs> All right. Well, look, we're just giving shout outs for the people interacting. And uh, yeah. Oh, one last thing. I told you before, everybody, you already probably know, but like I said, we you might not. Um by the time this is out, you need to go online and get some shirts from Dustin. Hard Times Parts and Service. He's got his 40-some time champion shirts in stock already, and he's got a bunch of cool shirts coming. Was it five different designs that are just – they're they're great for what we love and do. So, yeah, sure I just wanted to come out with some shirts that we could wear at the racetrack and enjoy them. They're nice quality shirts. Actually, a little info is the same company that makes Cletus McFarlane shirts made these shirts. Okay. Well, there you and, go. And uh, I love his merch, uh, his shirts, the quality, the style of shirt is very nice. That's why I went with them. And also, if you order between January 11th and February 11th, you'll be drawn for uh, something free. Uh, people, like it'll be a drawing for all of them. Every item you buy, like a shirt or a hoodie, gets you one entry in the drawing. And somebody will win something. Maybe two people win something cool. I've got some ideas for that. So. Yep. So check out uh, Dustin's website. We're also going to, if nothing else, depend on time, whatever, but I, I will hundred percent link, put a link at least on the podcast website. So you can easily find, um, you know, the hard times parts and service site. So, but at some point too, or, you know, ultimately we're going to have some Red Hill racing podcast gear too, but we're in the meantime, I'm, I'm going to try to find the time to put, you know, the, five variations of cool shirts Dustin has made up on on the website as well to purchase but check them out um get you a shirt and yeah you know shameless plug like hey it's our it's our podcast love it hate it <laughs> yeah i mean well i mean these shirts man we don't you know time you pay artwork fees and shipping i think the shipping yeah. on these shirts was like you did it because you wanted to get some cool stuff made up yeah i wanted just to have Make a couple cool, bucks here and there you know? it's that's I mean, just if icing I did, on the cake yeah, I mean, it's not even about that. It's just about having cool shirts that people like. I mean, you know, I mean, Tiffany, your old lady, she had, she was the idea of the Fafo shirt. And <laughs> yeah, people yeah, she likes that love one. that shirt, man, and it is dope. Like I love it. And Tiffany, she she ain't afraid to say her piece. So Fafo yeah. is Fafo. Yeah. She came up with it for sure. Yeah. Not nah, I mean, maybe she didn't coin that, but she she started telling us it right. Yeah, yeah, we started talking I mean, about racing. it, you know, and then I was like, I need to get that on shirt. She's like, Yes, you do, and then. That shirt is all her. I mean, uh -huh. I, I kind of come up with it, and then they took what I said and made it look nice, and boom, it's on a T-shirt. It costs, though. Their artwork, $400 a pop, plus the shipping. Oof. But anyway. So go we, buy we a shirt. Gonna, we need to worry about that. Y'all just buy a shirt. cool shirt. Pick out the ones you like. There's chick shirts on there, or girls or lady, whatever you want to be called. Very cool. My wife designed it. And, uh, yep. Tamara can design nice, some stuff. She can do some design. She's yeah, she done the bases for them all. And then I yep. had them just kind of make them look nice. And uh, But that one, they didn't do nothing to it except the colors, you know. So okay. um, I think uh, that's going to be it. All right, we're wrapping it up. So like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. I might have got those mixed up. Whatever. You know what to do. You like and head, share. Like and share. You, you can, yep, share everything. You can go to the website. You can sign up to the newsletter. Dude, I didn't tell you, but we've got like, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but we've got like five or six email signups on the dang website already. People's ready. They're ready to hear us talk. They're ready. We think they're ready. They haven't heard us yeah. talk. That's why they're still signing up. Um, yeah. Like, share, comment. We want feedback. Let us know what you want to hear. The next and show, we're going to talk about motorcycle upgrades. It'll be one of the subjects. Is that what we're going to talk about? What we're going to upgrade. Something we're changing on. We'll do something. Yeah. And then, and then soon, there'll be more rambling, I'm sure. Yeah, there'll be all kinds <laughs> of stuff. So, all right. Um, like I said, we're right now before we get our, um, you know, get some more official sponsors, but we've got to thank Dustin hard times, parts and service. And, you know, not, not plugging myself too much, but you know, night marketing group, you know, we're getting this hey, going for you, you guys. Let me tell you guys something. If you got a business, don't let him downplay yourself. He will <laughs> help you. He made my whole entire website. 
People might not know that, but he did. They it probably don't. Great. Oh, I, I I helped you set it up. I don't know. We won't go as far as made it, but we well, I set it up. But you're making money while you sleep now, right? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I wake up and I go, oh, I sold something. Damn, I lost money. Cha-ching. <laughs> you made some money though. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, if you need anything, let me know. If I'll I'm that's the biggest thing is like I'll tell you whether I think I can do it, you know. So just hit hit me up. Hit me up if you got some marketing questions, hit Dustin up if you got parts questions, and then uh we're our goal is to bring some of our favorite sponsors or some of our favorite personal sponsors and then just some of the companies we like to use and get stuff from too we're our goal is to bring them on board so it's a work in progress um i don't know i think that's it man we just we thank everybody that's gonna tune in like i said it's kind of weird that we're recording stuff and hasn't launched yet but i guess that's how it's gonna be anyways right so like we gotta try to stay ahead of the curve that way if we have a bad week we still got something to put up yeah, we'll have some of those, but then I guess like when we get into rhythm, right? So like, so let's say yep. we'll record on a Tuesday and it goes out on Wednesday. We're still recording before it's out. So yep. I don't know. It's kind of weird. We're talking to y'all, but we're talking to each other. So, all right, that's it. That's all I got, man. That's good. All right, guys. We went, we'll we see you next minutes. time. Well, we'll talk to you next time. How about that? Talk to you next time. See y'all.